Hey there people, how's it going? This is Cross the Rubicon Channel. Sunday morning, a bit chilly, but nice. Foggy as hell, pea super this morning. But now it's cleared up, it's just on, well, about somewhere between 11 and 12 o'clock. But really is beautiful. So I'll let you have a little look around me here. It really is. Anyway, I watched a video this morning and it was of Piers Morgan in the UK. I'm not a fan of Piers Morgan, I'll be honest with you. He's not my kind of bloke at all. Chops and changes, a uh, bit, bit arrogant, multi-millionaire and uh, just a bit of a prick really. But anyway, um, he had this guest on young lad this campus Christmas and uh, and he had Douglas Murray via video link and they were talking about Sam Smith the I guess he's a pop star in the UK uh, fat Sam Smith who who's as whose stage acts and videos are sordid and uh, it's horrible. And they showed a video of his stage act. And uh, Sam Smith is doing all these kinds of acts in order to shock. That's all about homosexuality, dressed in leather gear, dressed as the devil. And it is satanic. There's no doubt this is satanic. And, um, you know, I just, I just despair of how, how the world is going especially the Western world, because this kind of thing is celebrated nowadays, men doing this, especially. Um, it's, oh, it's just, I don't know. I mean, when I was a young lad, we had Frankie Goes to Hollywood. They were a Liverpool band that were uh, openly, I think they were all openly gay. But you know, it, but it wasn't like that. It, it, you don't mind them. I don't mind them being gay. They can be as gay as they want. But um, it's, it's just... It's just the way they do it nowadays. It's, I just think it's it's become sordid and sick and disturbing and satanic. Anyway, they, they, they watched a clip and they... <clears throat> obviously, the young lad that was sitting next to Piers Morgan was um, pro Sam Morgan and how cool it was. He's fully woke. And uh, I'm, I'm, th I'm, I'm even... Okay. <laughs> I'm guessing it was a lad or a young young man, but you just can't tell nowadays. He's, he'd, he'd actually, he'd probably be offended if I called him a young man. So I'll call him a thing. And he was really offended by um, Piers Morgan referring to Sam Smith's video as his video and him. And this lad was getting really offended by I don't know, misuse of pronouns. And you can see Douglas Murray raising his eyebrows and things like that. And uh, you can watch the video below, I'll leave a link below. But it's. <laughs> how did we get here? Honestly, how did we get here, people? When Sam S Smith parades on stage and all this, this. Uh, I was going to say sexy then. It'd be a bit strange, wouldn't it? But it's this provocative, shocking costumes in leather, one round his mouth with a, a, a metal um, ring and he's sticking his tongue out of it. It's just honestly disgusting. And you know what it's simulating. God forbid, God forbid my grandchildren ever went to watch something like that. What does the future hold for our grandchildren? Our children even. When you can't even um, be openly against this new sick satanic society that's being thrust upon us. Being thrust upon us all. And it's only in the West. It's only here. New Zealand, Australia. United Kingdom, the United States, Western Europe, it's only in the West. So for me, I can only conclude that it's been driven by the enemies of the West. And who are the enemies of the West? 
the United Nations, maybe. Most certainly the WEF, World Health Organization. Klaus Schwab, George Soros, Bill Gates. Okay, I've gone from Sam, Sam Smith to all these organizations. Well, I believe it's all connected. They want to destroy the West by these kind of, by any means, any means. And this is all part of it, a small part of it, albeit, but it's definitely part of it. Destroy our youth, destroy their minds. <clears throat> I met three of them last week in the Bridge of Remembrance, where I gave a speech, a few others gave a speech, and uh, about, it was a pro-women rally, basically. And, uh, and we had three people come to shout abuse at us, young kids, I think there was two females and a young lad, but I can't tell and I couldn't possibly, I, I spoke to them later and it was a very, very charged kind of conversation because all they did was shout abuse and, you know, I, they, they would be offended if I said you're a girl or you're a boy because they're being brought up to believe that well they can identify as anything and this is being driven by our politicians by our academics schools universities media and they don't even know what they are they lack identity they just lack awareness and what <laughs> And the young lad, I believe, was a young man who would have been 50 kilograms piss wet through. He said, he said to me, and the others, I'm not going to tell you who was standing next to me, but he's a pretty well-known Christchurch YouTuber. And this young lad says, it doesn't really matter anyway because all you, all you people here are going to be dead in 20 years. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> he just keep taking them, mate. Keep taking them. Because I know you will be. I think I'll still be in 20 years. I'm not sure about you. <laughs> but anyway. Um the strange old world though, isn't it? The strange how how, how we've, the world's turned upside down, but it's only the West. It's only the West, Western nations. Anyway, I'll leave a link below to the Piers Morgan video. It's only about five minutes, maybe ten minutes long. Um, <laughs> just watch the Sam Smith video, which I think is, oh, it just makes me cringe. But I'm just a dinosaur, obviously. And, uh, you know, I'm just not with the programme anymore. I'd rather not be with the programme. If the world's going to turn into that, then I'd rather not be with the programme. I'd rather not see the human race ever again. If... But this is what is being driven in the West. It's... The West is being destroyed from within by elites who want to destroy our young people. And that's why they're coming after our young people, like these kids, these three kids, who I couldn't tell if they were boys or girls. Well, I could tell, but I wouldn't be allowed to actually state that they were two girls and one boy, because they'd get seriously offended. Okay. Anyway, this is Across the Rubicon. Please like, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and... Uh, Share my videos everywhere. Okay, see you later.